Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And I've got to say, this video is giving me much pleasure in making, and I think it will give you much pleasure in watching. Uh, and I do hope that you will hit that like button and subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe. I think this one's worth it. Um, we all know that the SNP are in a deep problem, a deep hole when it comes to finances. Uh, the results of the general election, of course, were absolutely horrific for them. They lost so many seats, which means they lose all that short money. Uh, and not just that, of course, they also lose the money that they take as a percentage of the earnings of the MPs. And of course, that's been devastating. And I think we worked out in the previous videos that it comes to about a million pounds a year. Um, they were also being wiped out in the last, I think it was that they finally won a by-election recently, which was the first one for 15 by-elections or something. So they've, they've lost, 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 lost. You add to that what can undoubtedly be falling membership numbers. And of course, they've got no corporate sponsorship. But their expenses are the same. They've still got to pay for their expensive headquarters. They've got their um, advertising. They've got their uh, cars and vehicles they've got to run. There's all sorts of things, all the, all the staffing costs as well. So you have to wonder where they're getting this money from. Now, a lot of it will be from bank loans and overdrafts and things. But what if the banks want their money back? And it's entirely possible uh, because the banks don't want, you know, they, they, it's been a long time since they were uh, regarded as uh, charitable institutions. They want their money back and they may foreclose. And if that's it, That'll be the end of the SNP, and they know it. So they are really literally on a shoestring. And none has seen this uh, as much as when the uh, by-election for the Isle of Arran was announced and uh, SNP failed to field a candidate. Now, you've got to say, why? Well, chances are they're going to lose that seat, and they know they're not going to win that election. But it must be pretty bad because if they're not fielding a, ca a candidate, it may be that they don't even think they can hold on to their um, their deposit. They possibly don't even have the £500 deposit needed to lose. And then add to that, of course, the cost of the flyers and advertising and things like that. They don't have the money. It's quite clear. And so imagine, if you will, the horror that they're going to face over the next few months when there's going to be a whole slew of by-elections, about 18, in fact. There's going to be 18 by-elections. And I go, I think you're going, but why? But why would there be so many? Well, it's simple. As a result of the last election, 18 councillors managed to get themselves upgraded from town uh, county council all the way up to the house of commons all different parties you understand um and that includes uh seamus logan who's a nat msp uh it's not a nat msp he's a nat, uh, a nat mp uh who was a councillor he's now an mp now he's already said that he's going to give up the council role so he can concentrate on westminster but they're all going to do that now, there's technically, they don't have to, technically they can be an MP and a councillor, but, you know, it's a lot of palaver and a lot of them are going to give up. So you're going to have maybe 18 by-elections to fight. That's 18 by-elections they're going to have to put candidates up, pay the deposits, do the flyers, pay the expenses for the agents, all sorts of things. And at a time when they're becoming increasingly unpopular, and at a time also when reform is becoming exceedingly popular, you have to ask, how many of these seats are they not going to put a candidate up? Now, you're going to have a problem here, because if they start not putting candidates up, it will become quite apparent to everyone that they're scared they're going to run out of money. And that will encourage the banks to say, oh, let's have a look at your finances. And that could be the end of them. So what are they going to do? They're probably going to have to say to the candidates themselves, you're going to have to go on and try and raise the £500 deposit yourself. And we'll get as much of it as you can. And we'll give you the slight difference or something. But you're going to have to take that hit yourself 
um, to be a candidate. And they may well do that or they may refuse to do that. But even if they get that, who's going to pay for the advertising flyers? Who's going to pay for this? Who's going to pay for that? A campaign isn't cheap, you know. And they're not popular people at the moment. So we saw um, at the general election when they were trying to get um, crowdfunding, very few of them actually managed to hit their target for their crowdfunding. And the thing with crowdfunding is if, let's say, you want £1,000 and you only get £900, you don't get that £900. You have to hit the target to get it. And if you don't, then all those pledges go back to the people who pledged them if you don't hit your target. So it's not a case of, oh, I nearly got it, because it's all or nothing, shit or bust. And that's what they've got this problem with. Um, there is uh, a lot of them um, that are going to go up. They're going to have to. They're going to have to choose carefully. I don't think, and I genuinely think, they cannot afford to fight them all. Um, and I think that some seats will go unfought, like the Isle of Arran has been. This. Is the this is the final sign? This is what we're seeing now. I've been saying this for a long time. So's um, Craig Houston. He's been saying that um, they are in deep financial trouble as well. And it is each and every time they have an election, make sure you go out and vote for anyone other than the SNP. See who's likely. If now the thing is, if reform are standing, vote for reform because you can't really vote for Labour, can you? And you can't vote for the SNP. And let's face it, the Tories are probably dead meat. They certainly haven't got a, a viable leader at the moment. But if reform are there, vote for reform. Just to be different, but just to make sure that the SNP don't win the seat. Bankrupt them further. Make them lose their deposits. This is the end game. We are in the end of days now for the SNP. 18 by-elections, and then the councils, and then the Holyroods. They haven't got it. They haven't got the ability to fight these elections. And that, dear friends, is why I say I'm very happy to make this video. That's why I think you're very happy to watch it. So like I say, do please hit that like button, share the video, Absolutely, if you are yet to subscribe, please do hit subscribe. If you're one of the regulars who never subscribed, now's the perfect time. We'll get them on there. But it's all fun and games, isn't it? Until somebody gets hurt. Thanks a lot. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.